are right, YouTube welcome back to another video it's, today is just gonna be like a pretty quick video I've been having trouble flashing my car from stage 291 to stage 2 plus E50 not that I'm having trouble but it's just that the OBD2 with like the Ethernet port and all that stuff doesn't read my car like it doesn't pop out all right so for those of you guys that know uh bm3 goes based off yeah the fireworks in the back but bm3 goes based off the obd2 to ethernet and then obviously if you have a um ios or android you have to buy this adapter which is the ethernet to iphone which is the one i have i would always use this when i bought my tune the first time and for some reason I've had it for like three months now, the tune, it doesn't want to read my car. So when I go here, I'm on my MacBook. So when I go here on my phone, it doesn't work. So it just says BM3 OBD2 not connected when I connect my phone. I'm gonna show you guys a screen recording of how it says when my phone is plugged in. So I was doing like the screen recording, uh, like plugging in my phone into the car with the OBD2 and the ethernet port and it worked so literally now that I'm making a video about it it's working but I think what it was is that I had connected my car with the one from the MacBook so I'm pretty sure it read it so now if I connect it with the iOS one it's going to read it now because I had tried using the ethernet port from the iPhone on three different phones and it wasn't reading like it wasn't connecting to the car it was saying vin not found and like cannot connect or whatever so i thought it was this and i have another one of these somewhere right here i don't know where it's at and i would switch on and off and it wouldn't work so i thought it was that yeah so i have this one same thing to iphone and it was working fine and it stopped working and then i use this one that comes with the kit when you order it from extreme powerhouse they give you uh the free internet ethernet adapter and with the iphone or android whatever you want to use but yeah i used both of these and i was stuck at the gas station for like 40 minutes because it would not want to read my car so i got frustrated and i remembered if you have a macbook or windows or whatever just literally buy one of these it'll be way faster you can literally flash at home and i say the gas station's like two minutes three minutes away if you're on 91 and want to do you 50 mix it's okay you can drive from your house to the gas station where we need to go what i did was i actually downloaded the app onto the computer i guess you could do it on this now before you weren't able to you had to like manually go on here that oh no oh yeah so you, you would have to download the agent so you'd have to go like this and you had to uh, go on the click the link and press download boot mode for mac ios or windows whatever you have so i was trying to do that before i downloaded the app and it wouldn't work damn fireworks so what i ended up doing I actually downloaded the BM3 app to the laptop from the Apple store. It's actually on there and I thought it wasn't gonna work, but since it's uh, updated for the iPhone and the iPad, it literally says right here, uh, sorry, it's in Spanish, but apps, technically that's what it says, apps for iPhone and iPad. So it says it might not work on a Mac, which literally says right there. But I went ahead, you know, downloaded the app, so yeah, I went ahead and downloaded the app. I'm signing in and bam, look, it reads the car right away. You don't have to wait five to 10 minutes for your phone to react to the car being plugged in from the OBD2 to the ethernet port to your iPhone. Like it's a whole ass process. All you gotta do is just plug it in, bam, you'll be connected right away. All right, so what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna flash to stage two plus E50 because that's what I wanna be on. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna put, press here to flash now. Battery charger, you don't need to have a battery charger, just have your lights off. Same thing with your daytime running lights, turn them off and they'll be fine. And let me turn this one off just for meanwhile. 
All right, so it's flashing as you can see from the MacBook. Look how fast it's flashing. Literally takes seconds. And if you're doing it on your phone, it takes forever. Trust me, I've been stuck at the gas station for more than 30 minutes and it's annoying. I was literally gonna switch over to MHD, but this is a common problem if you if you have BM3. So another way to fix it is if it's not reading your phone, you gotta go and open your trunk and disconnect your battery. That's something that I searched up and found out with doing some research that the way to fix that problem is to disconnect your battery and plug it back in. Bam, just like that, downloaded. So if you don't wanna go ahead and disconnect your battery, what you gotta do is, you know, if you have a MacBook or Windows PC, whatever that you can bring out to your car and it has an ethernet port or you still have to buy the little adapter so it could connect to your computer, It'll still work out. It'll be way faster from flashing from the laptop compared from flashing to your phone as you saw how fast the speed was on the download. And I'm pretty sure you guys ask yourself this question so many times and I just said it again. You can flash from home if the gas station is literally less than one or two, three miles away from home. Just drive normal. Don't gas the car. I'm currently on 91 and I'm gonna go flash to E50. Well, I already flashed, but I'm gonna go pump E50. So the gas station is like four minutes away from me. And I do this all the time. It's safe uh, when I didn't have the adapter to my phone, but now it looks like I'm gonna be flashing from the laptop because it's way easier and more convenient. And I don't have to be stranded out in the gas station. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys literally how easy it is. I'm gonna drive right now to the gas station and pump the E50. I'm gonna show you guys a calculator and everything I do to get that perfect mix. All right, so I just turn on the car. Obviously it's idling kind of funny because it's on a E50 map and I'm on 91, but pretty much everything's right there. I have to add some gauges on here. Let's see. All right, so I added uh, my boost pressure target. It already had the pre-throttle, but I added the pressure target, like what it actually hits. And I added my coolant temp. I no, which one else? Oh, I added knock detection, just in case. And the STFT and the wastegate duty cycle, which is at 99 right now. So I'm a, after, I'm gonna show you guys the gauges after I go on a drive, but first I'm gonna head out to the gas station, pump E50. All right, so as you can see, I have everything added uh, correctly to my car. Gas tank size 15.8, pump gas ethanol 10, cause that's what 91 has, or at every gas station, that's what it has and ethanol percent at pump. The pump that I put E85, it reads at 82% at 83, but I always put it at 82. So that's what I have it as. And then target ethanol, I'm trying to get E50 and my current ethanol mix is zero because I'm on 91. No, you don't have to add the 10 that you have from the pump gas because that doesn't count. And then the 25 is because I'm at a court. So as you can see, since it's my first fill, I have to add 9.33 gallons of E and then the rest is gonna be 91. Alright, so I made it to the gas station. Bunch of crackheads here, bro. So, yeah, I'm at a court right now. And first, what you're gonna do is pump 85, whatever it's saying to do. So, since it's gonna be my first fill up, technically, since I'm on 91, you technically have to add more 85. First Phillips literally always hit different because you get the most 85 in your car compared to when you already have the mix. So technically I'm gonna be pumping nine gallons of 85 right now. It's gonna be super cheap compared to pumping half and half on 91 and 85. All right, so that's what I ended up getting. 9.39, 35 bucks for 85 and the rest is gonna be 91. Pretty simple. Bruh, this hurts. Six Look at the, listen to the cracking in the back. Ugh. Hey to you. But yeah, pretty much says it's gonna take two point something gallons. So hopefully it reaches that. Mm, it'll get there, but pretty much the mix is gonna be pretty accurate if it goes past two. And that's where we're heading towards. Literally, look, two gallons. That's how you get an accurate E85 mix by using the calculator. Damn, I haven't washed it in forever, but that's how it looks. That's how it's sitting. 
Alright, so it's the next day now. I kind of wanted to wait till the morning to do some pool so you guys could hear it. And damn, look at my mileage. I remember getting it with 77,000 and I'm almost at 10,000 miles. And like, I got it February. It's July, so it's like four months, five maybe. I don't know, I'm not sure. But yeah, damn, look at that. I'm gonna do a little pool. It'll be kind of hard because shit is attraction. All right, so I'm gonna do a 60 roll, brake boost. Sorry about the air. I want you guys to hear the burbles. They sound insane. But every time I want to record and show it, you can't hear it. I don't have anything done besides my downpipe, so I'm still stock resonators and mufflers, and that's how it sounds. I'm on my way to the gym, so don't mind my fucking shorts flying up, but I'm gonna try to do like a little first, second gear pull. I'm gonna probably like spin out or some shit. Pretty well. I didn't launch it or anything, I just floored it all the way down. Not bad. 